Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Deluxe Black T-Rex Zord from Power Rangers Dino Supercharged. This is a, technically another repaint of a Zord we've already gotten, however this guy is a bit special in that he's somewhat official. I mean, the other guys aren't bootlegs, but I mean, this guy's rooted in some sort of reality, which is a really weird way of putting it now that I think about it. Get your hands out, man, this is a review. Um, that we there was a black version of um, Gabutira in Chiriujur. It was in the Triple Dino Trash Trust crossover movie, um, and then we did they did have an official release of a full on black and gold or black and silver, whatever you want to call it, black edition Kyrujin. So this guy's actually uh, based off something, and that was just kind of a random recolor. But I just thought I would mention that. And also, there's a good reason that I'm glad that I'm a little bit later on reviewing this guy, and I'll mention that in a minute. But first, boom, box time. <laughs> I don't know. That was weird. That was a weird choice, and I regret it immediately. Um, just real quick, the only reason I show these is I usually say a uh, neat box art here on the front. Everything else is basically par for the course stuff. Um, neat box art here again. Shows you how it works, all that stuff. I just really like to show off that I appreciate the cool box art they do on all the Zords for us. Alright, but now here's the main event. The Black T-Rex. I don't know why I'm talking like the Sven guys from How About Your Mother. Anyway, so he is pretty cool looking. Um, I don't know how often I've mentioned it or how well people know me that are watching this, but I do really dig uh, the black editions of Zords. I think this guy looks really cool. Um, he has like the, the couple differences. Um, that are more noticeable, and he has this like little uh, Spinal Zord backpack piece which has the missile launch thing. We let's launch the missile. You're embarrassing me, missile. You know, it happens. It's happened to all of us, let's be honest. T-Rex is no exception, there we go. I don't know if you saw it, but the missile does happen. Um, you get three of them, just like with Spinal Zord. So you get that, so you have this extra piece which is um, a unique thing to this release. And also his tail, yet again, is uh, I, I use the word docked, it's like a term about dogs, which I hate when they do that to dogs, but that's like an aside point, this is an activism video. But, um, yeah, it's smaller, I don't know why they decided to do that for both of them. I don't know how that's going to figure into the other Zord, but, um, ignoring that for a second, I think the coloring looks cool. Um, it's pretty close to what the Japanese one looks like, which I actually do have a comparison shot for that here in a second, um, which we'll go over. But before we do that, um, he does come with a charger, which is a black version of the T-Rex charger. You can see it's got a black version there, black version of the guy here. That's racist, guys, because you think he's black. Okay, and then it says Tyrannosaurus Rex. So pretty cool. Now, before we bring in uh, the Japanese Zord, let me show you the Japanese charger. Um, for this, which is different than this one also. Um, it's, as you can see, instead of being gray around the outside, it's black. They still keep the red here. Uh, the little animation symbol is different because it was like the DevOps logo. Um, it says Gabutira, stuff like that. So it's pretty different. So you're not getting the same thing, which makes sense because, like I said, I don't even know if we're going to use this in the show. It is rooted in some sort of official stuff, but I don't know if we're going to use it. And if we do, who knows? We, we don't have DeBoss, so I don't know how they would do it. But my point is, for this little random ramble here, is that this is what I wanted from all the other repaint Zords. Like, I know this guy's a special case because he's sort of real, um, but... I would be awesome to get like the green Packy Zord or the red Raptor Zord or the purple, um, wait, green Packy Zord, green Parasaur Zord and the purple Packy Zord and have chargers like this that are just a recolor. I mean, it's such a small thing, but it kind of makes that, that purchase a little bit extra worth it and neat. I would have liked that. Real, real quick, it, even though it's a recolor and all different, it does the same noises. Sorry, Tyler made a cameo. But yeah, same noises, but I just wanted to talk about that. Okay, rant about that over. But yeah, overall, with the exception of the dock tail and then this little thing up here, I still think he looks cool. I, I dig these repaints in general. But now let's bring in his counterpart, because I actually do have it on, like, Tobaspinos. So there it is. Boom. As you can see, just like with the regulars, there's obviously a difference in mold. Ours looks a little bit angrier. The main colors are the same, but he does have a couple differences color-wise, which I think makes him look a little bit cooler. Uh, our version has a golden jaw. I mean, it's not really full-on gold, but still, we do have that, which is neat. I think it actually looks a bit cooler, to be honest. And as you can see, he actually comes with a long tail, proof that that's supposed to happen. Um, and it is black instead of the typical yellow from the regular version. Um, his is gold. I, w I love gold! 
gold! I couldn't... Gold power! I had to get all the gold references in and I can. Um, something about golden glider. Um, but as you can see, it would be gold if it was a regular sized tail. Now, uh, the reason I said... Well, quick, before I get to that, back up, Dawson. Uh, obviously, like I said, differences are here with the mold. This guy had electronics. All that stuff. Just wanted to mention that. But, okay, now let's get back to this guy quick, and I'll do a quick little random talk before I transform him. Um, the reason I'm glad I got this guy a little bit later is because we just recently found out, or at least recently at the time of this recording, that there is another special edition recolor that's been found at Walmart. I don't recall if it's exclusive to Walmart or not, but it includes a green version of the T-Rex, which is kind of reminiscent of the green versions from Dino Thunder slash Alba Ranger. Don't know if that's what they're going for. But anyway, it includes that, and the arms are black editions of the Triceratozord and the Stegozord. So if you buy that edition, you can combine it with this to get the full-on black black gold, black silver Megazord. I think that's a really weird way of doing it. Like, it seems kind of like smart marketing in a way, but I would have rather just personally them release the full-on black edition Megazord, and then I totally would have bought the green T-Rex too, because it actually looks pretty cool to me. So they should have separated that, to be honest. It's a really weird way of releasing it. Like I said about the tail, I don't remember what the color is. I wish, I wish slash hope it was gold, I don't think it is, so that it fills it in, because that's really my only main problem with this and like Spinozord is that they did these weird little tail nubbins. But yeah, that's how they're releasing it. So this guy will be making a cameo appearance in my review of that because you can get the full-on Black Gold Megazord after you have that. But for now, it's just kind of weird. Like I said, they should have just done all full-on and then green by himself. Okay, real quick, I'm actually not going to put any arms on this guy because I'm going to wait for when we get the Black Gold Megazord. Uh, but I'll transform him into um, just what he would be like if he had arms. So this is like the amputee Megazord. So boom, give birth. There's the helmet. Boss! It's not Date. I mean, it doesn't even have the abs. Why is his legs being so funny? There. Okay. Oh, that's why the little feet down here are not clicked on. There we go. Okay, I just had to fix his legs a little bit so it wouldn't be so weird. Um, and then here's the helmet, and I'm just going to set it aside. But as I mentioned in the Tobaspino review, you can either store this on the back just like normal, or you can put it up here as some sort of weird cannon. But I'm just going to set it aside for now. But yeah, there's there you have the... Um, Black Dino Charge Megazord. Um, no arm, no arm formation. But obviously you can put any of the Zords on that make arms. I'm just going to wait for um, when you have the other pieces, when I do the other review. But still, um, in this mode you can just tell, because he's basically the main part of the Megazord. It still looks pretty cool to me. I'm still digging on it. Um, like I said, again, I'll repeat myself, he'll be making a cameo when I get that special edition Megazord to actually show the full-on black gold Megazord, but he functions the same, and in the meantime can be a good place to store some of your extra auxiliaries if you have them. But um, overall, um, I personally still dig this guy just because, like I said, I'm a bit of a sucker for um, the repaints. Also, quick before I forget, when you put the charger in here, it pops up those little thingies. Don't want to forget to mention that. Um, but my only real complaint about this is the the shortened tail and the weird way they're releasing that. Other than that, I still think it's the coolest looking repaint. Partly because it's actually semi-real, and partly because um, I just think that the the black and gold, black and silver repaints just look the coolest. But yeah, overall, um, if you're if you're willing to pick up both Zords. Um, I can recommend at least checking it out. I just kind of have a bit of a problem with the way they're releasing it and them the tail stuff. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at writersrangerambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.